Hello everybody, welcome back to another game of Roy's Story Cubes. Today we're gonna choose more dice to roll with, and eventually we'll have a nice story to tell. We're gonna do that three times, and once again, once I have my nine dice lined up over here, you can pause the video to look at them and come up with your own story, and make sure to post your story in the comment section below so I know what your thoughts were, and what eventually my best story became. First I'm gonna grab a bunch of dice here, let's see, that's five of them right there. And I need four more of them. Once again, the fairy is here. And uh, this is four. I have one extra. Putting the bag away. So this is the bunch we're going to work with. I'm going to roll them in two sections. One in five, one in four. Trying to roll away from the uh, microphone. Otherwise it's very noisy. Alright, so here we have a lonesome tower, it looks like. We have a pyramid, and I apologize for the noise outside, because apparently people have to go through my street for some reason, even though the sharps are closed, so no idea what they're doing here. Gears, and this looks like a bag on a stick, like hobos tend to have, at least back in the day. Vagabonds. Here is a chest, and there's four more dice to roll. There we go. A turtle, which you've had before as well. Go over there, please. A scan of a bone or a broken bone of some sort. Here is a ladder. And here is a house. Alrighty then, so make sure to pause the video here and try to figure out what you would do with these dice. And meanwhile, I'll try to figure out what I would do with these dice. There aren't really much characters here to choose from. There's a turtle. And that's about it. So I'm gonna have to try something. I'm just gonna start and then we'll see where we end up. Well, one day we had a friend turtle over here who was uh, going around the world all by himself, uh, having a great time, and basically he found a lot of treasures because he's a smart turtle, and he uh, collected some money which he put in his bag so he could buy stuff like pay for inn rooms and all that sort of thing because turtles can't pay for the night. Well, this one can because he talks and he has money. So innkeepers tend to not argue with that. Anyway, um, one day he encountered a pyramid, which he was very happy with because you don't tend to see those every day. So he was climbing that and after a while he needed to get all the way to the top right there, but he couldn't quite make it because the stairs had like uh, fallen out of place in between time. Hang on. Fallen out of place, of course, I mean collapsed. So for the last part, in order to get to the top, he uh, thought about it and he was like, hmm, maybe. If I want to get to the top of that thing, to get to the last diamond, that last switch, I'm going to need something else. I'm going to need this ladder, which he uh, constructed with a bunch of rope and sticks that he found lying around because he was half MacGyver, half A-team. So he built himself a ladder and he climbed up there and eventually he uh, got to the uh, Philosopher's Stone or, I don't know, Hope Diamond or whatever it was that was up there. But something happened, there was an earthquake. And his ladder slipped and so did he and eventually he broke a bone, oh no. And it took him a really long time to get his back, back his way to uh, civilization because he was fairly far away. But once he was there, they nursed him back to health and it took him a little while before he was back being happy and healthy turtle like he was before. And he decided that, you know what, uh, that was uh, such a great adventure, it was like the, the apex of all the adventuring I've ever done. I got the biggest treasure I ever got from that. And so I'm going to buy myself a house, and I'm going to live happily ever after. The end. That was a really short story, but there wasn't else, much else going for me right here. At least I didn't really have any other ideas as to that regard. I still think if I would have fleshed it out a little bit, it would have been a more fun story. It's more entertaining. But for now, this is what it is. Who knows? We may be able to use this for a much longer story for some type of writing exercise someday. Who knows? Turtle. Todd the turtle who goes on an adventure and finds treasure, breaks his leg, goes home, buys a house. Alright, so that was the first round. I'm gonna set these guys aside so my uh, dice bag is not so full and I'll be able to grab some more dice. Also means we won't be seeing these dice in the next round. We might see it in the round after, but for the time being you have to say goodbye to them. Next set of dice coming up. La 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 la. This should be the first five right here. Uh, yep, there we are. Hey, Medusa's here. There's a fire engine coming over here, so I'll probably have to pause the recording for a second because they're really loud. Hang on. All right, they've gone past. Okay, so what do we have here? We have nine dice, which I haven't rolled yet. That's what we have here. I'm going to move these aside. I'm going to roll them after all because I thought I had done that, but I hadn't. I just sat here and waited for the fire truck to go past. 
it's a very necessary job, but they also make a hell of a lot of noise. Which is not good for people like me. Alright, here we go. We have some handcuffs. I'm gonna put them over here so you can stare at them and think of all the bad things you've done. These look like, uh, what's that thing called in Russia? I don't really know what they're called right now, but that's what it is. Minarets. And this is a round maze by the looks of things, although we could use it for something else if we wanted to. This is a ray gun. Ooh, we're getting a space adventure, I think. Or somebody's gonna come from space. Next five. Well, let's see. Now Medusa's here. She decides to decide to throw up anyway. This looks like a medical kit drop. Okie dokie. Here's our elephant friend once again. And here's a guided tube, which I think uh, we also saw with the elephant last time. And this is an escape hatch or a um, stairs leading into the basement. Right, so pause the video here so you can uh, make up your story, your second story of the day, and let me know in the comments below what your story is, because I want to read what your stories are. Give me your damn stories. Right. Well, I'm going to see what uh, I'm going to do with this, who or what. I'm going to go and grab these dice. Let's see now. Uh, we still have the elephant here. We could easily continue on our path. Continue our story, that is. Alright, so let's just do that. Let's recap quickly. There was the elephant that Sarah does do was thirsty. Found something to drink, which was some type of interstellar um, chalice of awesomeness, which for a poor elephant from Earth was not a good idea. He uh, he died. Eventually he became toxic. All his remains became toxic. Somebody had to clean it up. And one of those people was this guy who got infected and eventually had to be quarantined because uh, if he was to start to infect other people, that would be a bad idea and there would be more people. So for many, many years, he was stuck inside a basement because they didn't want people to know that there was somebody still in the tube. It had been like a, a few hundred years since anything had happened or any medical uh, progress had been made enough for them to consider bringing him back out of the basement and trying to work something up in his benefit. Alright, so in the meantime, a new city had been built around the, the place, a new civilization had sprung up around the uh, base where he used to be, and an alien race had decided to come visit them. Uh, I don't have a, a dice for that, but they gave them a new set of medical skills, or a new medical drop. They were like, hey, you've got a guy there in a the basement who's like uh, several hundred years old, here's something which we think will help. So um, the scientists decided that they wanted to try that out. But they had found that it was behind a sort of lock and key with a maze they had to go through, a technological maze and all that sort of thing, but they weren't quite sure uh, what the hell that was all about. And they were like, okay, that's nice of you to give us this medical drop, but we don't know what the hell uh, this is. And so they went over there with a ray gun and said, give us the code, because uh, it's nice to promise something, but not to deliver is something else entirely. We'd like you to help tell us how to help this guy. But that, of course, was illegal to threaten people with information, so they were eventually arrested and thrown in jail. And several uh, years later, when the first one came back out of jail, they were like, okay, so we still have this puzzle here to solve. Um, don't know what exactly it is that we need to do, but um, I think this will do, 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 that sort of thing. Thank you, Mr. Motorcycle, for your contribution. All right, so uh, he uh, botched the code eventually, uh, but they did get to the medical supplies. Though uh, our friend here, uh, he did come back to life and he was healthy, but he was slightly altered because he had turned somewhat serpentine and had some snakes growing outside of his head, which were a bit problematic because he turned everybody to stone. So once again, he was put back in quarantine, this time under threat of a ray gun, because otherwise he would be arrested for turning people to stone, which would be a bad thing. So it's to spend yet another few hundred years in isolation, this time as a Medusa, and who knows what the future would bring? Certainly I don't. Perhaps the next few dice will tell us. So that was the story of our for fortunate toxic uh, spill worker once again. Um, right. I, I couldn't even follow that one, but that's okay. We're gonna go for the third story. I'm gonna put these aside and we're gonna go put the other ones that we have before back in the bag. So we have them available once again. And there you go, these guys go over here. We're not gonna have the elephant this time, so hopefully we won't get another continuation of this story. We wanna get something original this time. Here we go. Hustle them up a little bit. A little bit of waiting music. Here is five dice, which we haven't seen yet today. Some of them, one of them even has a dice on it. Alright, let's see. And this is... that's four, by the way. Four, and this is five. That's nine in total. The beans are back. Back again. Right, let's go and roll them. 
Here's four of them. This looks like a switch of some sort. And this is a scarab. Because we have not enough of them. This is another interstellar city. And this is... I think you could call this... I'm gonna say this is a sheriff's badge for now. Or the em sun emblem. I'm not really sure what it is. Depends on the story what it turns out to be. Next five dice. Ah. A wheelchair right here. And then we have somebody who's looking very angry. Doesn't like it at all. Minotaur is back. Uh, still on the run from the police, probably. Here's a hatchet. And a bag of gold. Alright, so pause the video here. And make sure to leave your story below. What will you make of these nine dice? Personally, I have no idea just yet. But we're gonna get started with somebody. And it better be quick. Alright, let's see now. Do -do. Moving back here now, let's see. We have a very angry person. Um, we have this guy who was on the run from the uh, US uh, Department of Justice in the uh, savannah. Of this is, of course, several hundred years ago, because by now we are in the, the real time right now, where we are now with this previous story with the other guy, the previous uh, or the other parallel universe. We're in space age right now, but with this guy. We're still in the savannah desert and he's uh, actually pretty pissed off because he decided uh, one day, I'm gonna put it back to the hatchet, where is it? There, to rob a bank because he was out of money. And he did get some money, but eventually the police came to arrest him. And they didn't do that very uh, kindly. He uh, ended up in a wheelchair because they were very uh, brutal with him. Police brutality, you know, police brutality for minotaurs, so we need to do something about that, but they didn't. Because that's just the way things were. He got locked up in a very fancy jail right there full of bugs because bugs are the type of thing that most people are afraid of but for him they were also the only food source because he was kind of hungry and they weren't feeding him and they were like what do minotaurs even eat? I believe the, the uh, blood of virgins and uh, the heart of something uh, I don't know some some innocent people we don't have those so instead we're just gonna feed him scarabs and eventually he got well minotaurs I don't think die very quickly do they? They kind of live forever? So ultimately, they uh, end up in the same world that the uh, current timeline is with the elephant guy and all that sort of thing, the guy who turned you into Medusa. And since people had long since forgotten why they arrested him in the first place, they decided to set him free anyway. And because uh, he got arrested with all the stuff that was in his pockets, they also gave him the loot that he got. And this might be going off screen. The loot that he got from his... Um, robbing adventure so eventually he ended up with his money anyway even though he was now several hundred years older so all's well ends well eventually if you sit there long enough people will forget why you're there and then you get your money after all and then you'll probably won't be able to spend it because it'll be uh, too old because the current currency is uh, something that does not contain metal anyway he still had his prize so that was the third story uh, we're continuing our uh, storyline here. Eventually you should write a really weird book about it. Maybe, who knows? Maybe you're writing your own book about it. These two cubes might be very handy to give you a little break stay, to give you a little idea, just something different, like a brainstorm session with dice. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your comments below. I'll see you next time, and bye-bye for now.